Cork County Council unexpectedly announced in February it has to temporarily close the Jersey Island cable car service for eight months after serious structural concerns were raised about the 60-year-old metal pylons it's suspended on. But for 80-year-old James Harrington, back from the mainland after doing his weekly shop, it means from April the 1st, he, one of the island's two permanent residents, will have no means on or off the island. I haven't thought about that yet at all. I dare not think of it. I'd have to ring 117 if I want to get off urgently. For Joseph Sullivan, one of the island's eight farmers, the decision to close without consultation is causing consternation. I still have eight or nine cows to calve. The entire flock of 700 sheep that are on this island are due to lamb. I mean, you wouldn't close the Jack Lynch Tunnel tomorrow morning and tell nobody. But yet, here we are, seven or eight farmers on Dorsey Island, and they have no problem cutting off the island to us. The closure is also a huge blow to the tourist economy of the Bearer Peninsula. Sure, we're asking for no more. Like, all we want is a service to come and go from the island when the weather is fit. No more, no less. The local authority, however, has told its councillors it has no plans to fund a temporary ferry service which could cost hundreds of thousands of euro. So come the 1st of April, anyone who wants to leave or come to the island will have to cross the Dursey Sound by whatever means possible, something no one relishes. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News, Dursey Island.